Ooh, what's up guys, Chris here, or Mighty Furtado, bringing you yet another product review, and today I'm going to be reviewing a, reviewing a Razer product, and it is the Razer Megalodon 7.1 Surround Sound. Now, I actually picked this up a couple of days ago, and I thought I'd give you guys a review, I already unboxed it, so I can't really do an unboxing of it, so I thought I'd do a review for you guys of the Razer Megalodon, uh, which are PC 7.1 surround sound headphones. Now the price range of this is, I believe I paid $139 for it, and I believe, you know, this is probably one of the best products I ever bought from Razer, uh, and I'll tell you why in a couple minutes. So I'm just showing you guys the packaging of the Razer product, and here are the features. Uh, amplifying and noise filtering microphone, 7.1 virtual surround sound, obviously it's not true surround sound because Obviously this runs through USB and not a optical audio or the uh, jack audio that you plug into your audio or uh, into your motherboard or whatever it's called. Um, toggle on Razer Mailstorm audio engine on and off. Independent control over the center, front, side, rear speakers and the bass level. The control wheel allows for on the fly adjustments of every function. Convenient access to mute the microphone. Mic sends control the Mic sensitivity, I guess, controls the amount of background noise filtered out. Mic levels controls the volume the microphone outputs to teammates. So obviously, this is everything. Razer Mailstorm audio engine, onboard audio processing. I do believe this has an onboard uh, sound card in it. Um, offload processing to the internal sound card and take um, and take the demand off your CPU. And flying a noise filtering microphone. Be here. Um, be heard loud and clear, true plug in and play, no software required, and easy USB connection. So this is the case, and I'll actually show you guys the inside of the Razer case, as you guys are gonna see right here. Very nice and soft texture, and this actually comes with something really cool. I'm actually gonna keep this box itself. Could be a shoe box, I guess it can fit one of my shoes. Actually, I'm a size 10, so it's not gonna fit in there. Uh, this is actually the case that it comes in. A nice, I guess you can say leather. This It's not leather, but it's a different material. And actually, I'll, I'll tell you guys about the material for the USB cord in a couple minutes. So this is actually the case it comes in. Uh, very nice case. Obviously, you can fit your headphones here. You could probably put like a mouse in there if you want. So it's really cool. And uh, when I bought this baby, I had to smell it. I love the smell of all Razer products. That might be weird, but I love it. Uh, so let's show you guys the actual product. This is the Razer Megalodon headphones. As you can see here, the soft cushions around your ears, uh, the adjustable levels of the headset, really neat and convenient. Uh, you got the microphone here, which this actually does light on as well. Uh, so this is actually a really cool thing. You can turn it, I believe, up to here if you want it. So if you want to put it on your right ear, you could go like this, or if you want to put it on your left ear, you can go like that. So you got left. And then you got, how did I do it again? Right, so that's really cool. Um, the only problem I have with it is the microphone is not detachable, which could have been really cool. Uh, I could have used this for probably listening to just music and really not have this on, which kind of does uh, suck. But hopefully if Razer decides to release another 7.1 surround sound headset in the near future, that could be a possible option where they uh, allow you to detach the microphone which is really cool because even though that you can't really listen to this um, with your iPod or whatever because since this does use USB it would have been cool to at least uh, allow you to actually take this off and then just use the headset to either listen to music watch movies TV shows or even play the games without obviously communicating with your teammates um, so let's actually move to the next thing which is I guess you can say the onboard kind of mixer uh, now I'll actually try to plug it in for you guys to show you guys how uh, cool it is. So let me, give me a second here, my computer's right here. So I will plug it in. Uh, I just gotta untangle it. Of course I have to get everything tangled during the review. Um, so I'm gonna actually have to move the camera just a little bit um, because the rope, or I wouldn't say rope, but the USB is not uh, big enough. So as you can see here, this is the, I guess you can say, the onboard mixer, I'm trying to see if this is clear for you guys. Just give me a sec here, uh, put it to manual focus, and then I'll focus in there. Uh, this is the mixer, and right here is obviously it says Mailstorm. So this is the main sound, obviously the adjustable, the right is obviously the max, and then you can lower it. Another, another cool feature is 
once you press this button, you can change the different speaker. So this is obviously the front or the middle speaker. It's not the middle, the front. Uh, and then you can change it to the left and right speaker, the rear speakers, and then the back speakers, and as well as the bass. Obviously, I have the bass all the way to the max because I need to have max bass. Um, another cool thing is actually the mic options here. You got your mic mute where you can mute the mic uh, if you obviously don't want to communicate with your teammates. Uh, you got mic sensitivity. So this is actually a really cool feature. It kind of senses it. It's really sensitive the microphone of the Razer Megalodon, so you can put it high if you're in a like a quiet ass room, or you can obviously put it low. That's where I kind of have it because I do have a lot of things going on in my room, uh, TV, and then you have this beast of a computer that's actually pretty loud. And then you also have your mic level. So if you want to increase it, if you're recording or you're talking to your teammates, you obviously can raise it. Uh, I have it at middle. Now I did test this out with a couple games. Uh, I tested it out with Battlefield 3 and it brought orgasm to my ears, which was really fucking amazing. Um, I also tried this out with Counter-Strike because I do play competitive, or I used to play competitive Counter-Strike, uh, Counter-Strike 1.6 and Counter-Strike Source. And uh, I tried this and I could hear everything. I could hear like the, the enemies down the hall. It was amazing. Uh, so it is really cool. Uh, there isn't really much else to say about it, but the price range of this is about $139-$140 uh, Canadian dollars. Uh, and when I bought this, uh, the guy who actually was selling me this, or who me and my friend uh, actually were talking to, he's a really cool guy, he's a really cool gamer, and he um, talked a lot, a lot about different headphones, and he actually uses, I believe, it was, I'm not too sure if it was the same one, or it was another... Uh, Razer headset, but uh, he he highly suggested that I get the Razer Megalodon and actually move back t towards here so you guys can actually see it. Um, he actually did suggest the getting the Razer Megalodon because it was really uh, it was really cool. Uh, a couple of other employees actually used this headset, so uh, they highly suggested it as well. Uh, there's one downside that I have to say about the Razer Megadon, Megalodon 7.1 is that while I was actually playing Bioshock 2 for the PC, I actually kind of had a problem with it. I'm not too sure if it was the game itself or was the headphones, but uh, the, the problem that I had is that I obviously had the mixer kind of halfway full, maybe around, and my Blackberry had to go off, maybe around two to three dots away from max, and... Um, when I was playing Bioshock 2, the problem that I had was the audio would stop. Like, I couldn't hear anything. Like, I had this obviously in my ears, and I couldn't hear anything in the game when I was shooting. I couldn't hear absolutely anything. So I actually uh, read on a couple of forums and threads to mix with the levels of the uh, mixer, or whatever you guys want to call this, and unplug it, and then plug it back in and make sure that whenever you plug this or wherever you plug the Megalodon 7.1, it's not really connected with another USB. So I did that and I actually switched it from the back where I usually plug in all my other stuff, my keyboard, my mouse, and then all the other things. Uh, but and now I decided to plug it into the front of my computer and I have yet to receive a problem with that. So, uh, you know, hopefully it isn't the headphones and hopefully, you know, whatever they told me to fix, it was it. So, you know, that's really cool. But other than that, you know, if you guys are looking for a brand new spanking headphones, and if you have the money lying around, $140 for these headphones are absolutely, truly worth it. And I, I think that these are probably the best headphones out there that you can get. I actually know a couple live streamers on Twitch TV that actually use these uh, these headphones, and they say that it's truly amazing as well. And, you know, if you're a big competitive player, I know that the... Um, StarCraft 2 players actually use the Razer headset, which is the StarCraft 2, the Razer Banshees, and they say those are good as well. But, uh, you know, if you're somebody who live streams, and if you're somebody who plays competitively a lot, uh, I highly recommend the, the Razer Megalodon 7.1 Virtual Surround Sound because, uh, you know, for $140, you're going to get something that's really great audio quality. The microphone is is really good as well. I did try using it to record some commentaries. Obviously, it's not the best as a Yeti microphone, a Snowball Yeti microphone, because you're comparing a $100 microphone that's built for recording 
clear and crisp audio to you know obviously a Razer product which its main focus was to obviously re uh, focus on the audio settings obviously with the 7.1 and then obviously bring the microphone into it too and not obviously to downgrade the microphone quality but obviously to keep some good quality in it but you know if you're somebody who live streams and like I said plays games competitively and occasionally does some gameplay commentaries I highly recommend getting these uh, Razer Magalodon 7.1 virtual surround sound headphones for $140 these are the bang for the buck and I truly recommend these headphones to anybody but anyways guys, this is Chris or Mike Furtado. If you liked my review, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you do own a pair of these or if you do own a pair of another Razer product headphones. But anyways guys, this is Chris or Mike Furtado. I'll see you guys for the next review. Peace out. See you later. Stay safe.